Hey, what's up everybody? Today's video, we're gonna talk about NSXT script that I wrote that allows you to automate the provisioning of parent as well as child logical ports in NSXT. So before we jump into it, I wanted to give a huge shout out to Dale over at sneakyou.com. He wrote this article called Running Nested NSXT on NSXT. He goes into his environment. He provides some of the requirements that are needed in order to do this as well as talks about some of the pitfalls, right? Like the duplicate MAC addressing and how to, how to resolve that. But for the focus of this video, I'm gonna focus on guest inner VLAN tagging. In order for us to do this, we need to convert those logical ports into parent ports. And then once we have those parent ports created, we can create children ports that are associated with the parent port. So if we scroll down a little further, as you can see here, Dale's making a put command on the logical port. And he included this context section here. This is what converts that logical port into a parent port. And once he's done that, if we scroll down a little further, he's doing a post on the logical ports. And he's including the context block here uh, with the VIF type child with the VLAN tag of 107 and associating it with the private VIF that he created in the previous step. All right, now, so let's take a look at how I have my environment configured and then we'll jump into the script. So as you can see here, I have a, I have a tier one logical router called NSXT Lab 01. I'm not doing any route advertisement to the T0 or my physical. Um, as you can see, it's disabled. I'm able to access this environment from the NAT that I have in place here. So if we go to tier one NSXT, you can see I have a DNAT rule for my jump host. So if we go to segments, we can see that I have quite a few segments here, but the main one where all the nested ESXi hosts connect to is this one called NSXT Lab 01 Management. So all the hosts are connected to it. You can see we have 28 ports associated with it. And if we switch this view over to manager, click on logical switches, we can now see the ports. And if we expand it, you can see that I have some management ESXi hosts here, and then the compute hosts up here. And if I hover over logical switches, you can see that they're all associated with the management logical switch. All right, if we switch over to vCenter, we can see we have three compute nodes and four management ESXi nodes. The compute ESXi hosts have two NICs, while the management hosts have four NICs each. And if we jump into the nested environment, we can see we have compute cluster and then the management slash edge cluster that we, we talked about. Notice that we get this error host cannot communicate with one or more other nodes in the vSAN enable cluster. Uh, this is because we do not have VLANs established yet on those child ports. So if you look down here, we have VLAN tagging going on for NFS, vSAN, and vMotion. So since those are not in place yet, uh, this communication is broken. And then finally, this is our script. So I have two functions here. Uh, the first function is creates the parent port and the second function creates the child port. So if we look at the commandlets, you can see here the new NSXT parent port. Uh, we specify the virtual machine names. In this case, it's our ESXi hosts. And then we piping those to the NSXT child port commandlet as objects. And then we're creating names for the child ports. We're specifying the VLANs that we want for those child ports. And then we're also gonna associate those child ports with a particular logical switch. So if I highlight this text here and press F8, it's gonna ask me for some credentials. Type those in. Press enter. And as you can see, it's going through right now, creating the parent port as well as the child ports. And if we switch back over to our 
NSX environment. And you can see right now we have 48 ports. If I do a refresh, you can see we added about 154, 154 more logical ports with that script. So if we click on the next here, go all the way to the end, we can see that it took those logical ports that were associated with those ESXi hosts, converted them to parent ports, notated by the P underscore. And if we click on one, let's click on the management ETH1 adapter. So this one here. And go to related container port. We can see now this logical port has children port associated with it, right? The ones that we specified. And they're all associated with the ETH zero interface. So now if we swing back over to our ESXi nested environment, we can see those errors went away as communication has been restored since we had added those VLANs to those child ports. And if we want to test out, just to confirm, I can SSH into one of the hosts and I can run a VMK ping dash capital I and then VMK one, that's our vSAN interface, uh, VM kernel interface. And then the IP address of a host 102.12 is ESXi management two. You see we can ping that and we can ping just to confirm the rest of the hosts in that cluster. We can ping the third host. And finally we can ping the fourth host. So that's gonna wrap it up. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them down in the comments below. I will go ahead and leave a link to both Dale's website as well as my GitHub repository where I have the script. Thanks, have a good one.